So I heard about this seminar in LA. It's called Super Size Your Love Life. It's all plus size women getting together. I'm going through a rough time, so I need this right now. All right, ladies, who's ready to supersize their love life? So last night, you went out to a bar. You got a couple of you on video. Oh, God. So let's watch. Dang it. I saw some of my hands. You end up as the one-night stand girl? She a girl who doesn't know her worth. Like, we're all crying. You fall in love with the wrong people. We just went through something really powerful, and it really brought us together. I'm jumping in, too. Woo! I'm just going to jump in the pool. Jen is looking like a marshmallow pea. I am so over this fat girl bonding thing. The girls are still complaining about their weight. I am so ready to get away from weak-minded individuals. You have the only puss on your face right now. Call it diva, Madonna, whatever. So sorry, I just don't feel like talking anymore. I'm about to push all this in the pool, so can we move it now? Hold on a second. Rushing me and getting upset with me, not gonna work, because I didn't do anything to you. I am so over this seminar, and I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. I don't want to do any more fat girl bonding. This is not my life. I don't do this. I don't even want to speak to these heifers. She'll be fun. She'll be oh, fine. Yeah. She's just one of those people that, like, I don't even know how to phrase this. She's a bitch, and she's mean sometimes. Yeah, she is who she is. That's what she's being mean. Jessica thinks she's better than the rest of us. You can read it all over her face. Be like, I'm the coolest. I'm the prettiest. I'm the thinnest. When that is so far from the truth, it's like, you. Go eat a burger. Get me the out of here. I want to go home to my skinny friends. Ugh. Ugh. Being around full-figured women is a little taboo for me. Most of my girlfriends are slender women, and these girls are big and sad. I just can't take this anymore. This is beyond me. I'm going to take my ass back to Atlanta, enjoy my fabulous life with my friends who are not upset because they look a certain kind of way. All of this sitting around, big girl power, bah humbug. Girl, drop it like it's hot. Get that pole. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> They're wonderful women, but they have more baggage than I've ever seen in anyone. Oh my God. I don't have to say goodbye, honestly. I could just leave like a thief in the night and leave the money on the nightstand. Yo, I like legit want to take one of these towels with me home. <laughs> that is good. Put it in the God, these stairs are killer. This way. Oh my God, why? I just wanted to make a clean break. Now I have to sit here and explain to these heifers why I'm so ready to go. You leaving? Yes, ma'am. I can't believe that Jessica was going to leave without saying goodbye. Can we at least also give you a hug? No, ma'am, you're wet. We can elbow. Poof. Be gone, bitch. This is a little beneath me. Sounds real diva, but I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I had a pleasure meeting you guys. Yeah, no, I not wanted to hang out with you again. Like, I didn't want to just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you leave like that. Like, girl. Another girl's night, maybe. This is not, yeah, no. I'm done. Jessica, I know you lost 100 and something pounds, but congratulations. You're still in the Fat Girls Club. P.S. You're the vice president, and you don't even realize it. I can't. I... This is just not. It was so nice to meet you. Nice girl, to meet you. we'll so talk nice. to you again. Yeah. Yeah. Now that was was just like attention seeking behavior, but I could give a shit less. Whatever. Bye. Bye. Are you wet? No, I didn't okay. even get in the pool. <laughs> All right, bye, girl. I think Jess's whole motive in life is to get attention, and it must be exhausting to always feel like you have to be on. You good? Mm. Okay. And it's just. Ugh. I have face at the beat. I got men to go be around. I'm done. I'm gonna go pack. Bye. Bye. I'm definitely glad I went to the seminar and I am more at peace. There are some harsh realities in there and some definite things that I learned. Texas needs another drink. Dang. No, I will not make out with you.
What? Okay, the girl that gets loud that has too many drinks, the man all of a sudden says, she's the one night stand. Girl. Thank you for she's, that, I'm too loud. Don't get defensive, just take it. There's this metaphorical like weight that was lifted off my shoulders. I know that I'm gonna take all the information that I learned from the seminar and make some major changes when I get home. Hey, hey girl! Woo! I Let's also a, a butt rub. Butt rub. You guys with the butt rub. But like seriously, we all need to stay in touch. Bye. Bye. Exercising. It is a task. Mm. That smile's gonna fade shortly. The hardest part is actually the initiative to get up and go do it. You know, I went to the seminar for like supersizing your love life, and it was like the fat girl seminar. Mm -hmm. And then like all the big girls around me are like, oh, donuts. And I was like, yeah, no, that. Today I'm super motivated for fear of regression. And the white girl showed out on me, walked up crying. Like when people talk, go straight to weight loss, but that feels like people are talking about you need to lose Don't weight. Don't cry. It's okay. not about you like have to lose weight. That's what it feels like. What? Girl, what did you drink? She was like, you act like it's all about losing weight. If it's not about that, what is it about? Thank you, because I'm not happy with my stomach hanging like yours. I do not want to slide back into any old tendencies. Uh-uh, hold it up. And I definitely don't want to end up being like what I just left back in LA. But I can't complain too much. I have a date tonight. Oh, really? With who? This guy named Christopher. We met, like, years ago. I was like, probably like, 24 when I met him. I have a date with my ex, Christopher, tonight. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. At the time when we were dating, he would complain about the weight. And now Chris is going to see the new me and is going to see exactly what he missed. Well, I guess now, open up to different opportunities, you can see more. It was a bad person that you... It's just a bug. Bugs like big girls. We smell and taste like marshmallow. Okay. When I somebody told you this. I know. I'm so excited to see my little Layla Jan. It's been like three days and nine. Hey. Hi. I missed her so very much. What did you bring me, <laughs> Layla? <laughs> Before you talk to me about what I brought you, I went to LA to learn more about myself, better myself. Hi! Hi. I did. And in turn, I learned that I need to let go of the drinking and self loathing and self hating so I can be a positive role model for Layla. <clears throat> It's like the sweetest thing. You can't feel unworthy of love when you've got a little three-year-old saying, Mama, you're welcome, sweetheart. My big takeaway from the seminar was you don't have to be like put on a show and oh, everybody like me, like me, like me, like me to get the kind of attention that I want. You're I So can you tell me a little bit about what happened? It was it was cool because we did one exercise. We had to stand in front of a mirror. We had to look at it and we had to say what are the negative things that we don't like about ourselves. I said, you know, I don't like that you don't find the right guys and I don't like that, you know, you kind of take yourself for granted. And I need to believe in myself more and I need to put myself back to where I was before my previous relationship. The seminar did help me, and I learned so much about myself. After this whole ordeal with Richie, I just want a better future. I want to, like, work on myself, will focus on my music, and date guys until I'm happy. You never opened up to me that way. This, I guess, was a good thing, because you've opened up more than ever. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful woman. And I'm sure you That's find true. the right person. Sooner or later, you will. There's nobody better than you, except for your sister, that is. <laughs> I have to tell her that because she'll be jealous if I don't say that. <laughs> don't wrong. open that can of worms. <laughs> Biggest thing
thing I learned from the seminar is that I need to just put myself out there. So today I'm going on a date with this guy Dante who I met online. We haven't talked that much so I don't know really what to expect but we're going go-karting which I've never done before so I'm pretty excited. What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. As I see Dante for the first time, this jacket is like stained glass depictions of Jesus. He must be super religious. But bust yo ass on the racetrack. Well, I got that wrong. I really want to beat your ass now. Oh! I need the wide body go kart or something. Ah, that hurts my ass. Oh, I got childbearing hips compared to this. It's not gonna work. I'm too big for this. Like, even my ass was barely fitting in it. Tell me it's so embarrassing when you need an extender. It's so embarrassing that they have to get a seat extender for me to fit in this go-kart. Ah! Ah! That hurts my ass. Oh, I'm here to go on a date go-karting, and I don't know how I'm going to fit in the go-kart. <laughs> That's not going to work. I'm too big for this. The manager made the comment about it. I don't know what to do, and I certainly feel awkward in this tight ass seat. Tell me it's so embarrassing when you need an extender. Nobody feels sexy in an extender. But you know what? You just have to go out there and have fun. Dante passes me. I told you! I told you! Yelling. That just pisses me off even more. He's on my neck! <laughs> Dante's a little kid. <laughs> a little kid that needs some Ritalin. <laughs> all the way in, all the way in. Remain seated, remain seated. Woo! Damn! I'm sweating like a Hebrew slave. This day could be a lot more fun if Dante stops acting like a crazy fool. I wish I could just leave, but I feel like I need to give him the benefit of the doubt and maybe talk to him a little bit to see maybe there's another side to him. So what do you look for in a guy? In a, a guy? Or, yeah. Just somebody that, like, I can get along with can make me laugh. Well, I'm a silly one. I can make you laugh all day. You're going good. Man, we're going on a second date. Mm. That's cool. Well, like, do you, like, you know when you go on a date, like, no, you normally, like, feel, like, a spark or something? Damn. You don't feel nothing, huh? I just find him annoying. Well, I got to go to work, so. OK. I'll see you later. OK. Bye. The seminar really helped me realize, you know, don't settle. It's good to try new things, but don't be trying to force something when there isn't anything there. I know, I'm sorry I'm late. Singing is my passion. All of my songs come from something that I went through personally. I am like going through like a roller coaster of emotion. Kind of what music is, you know what I mean? My relationship with Richie has taught me a lot about painful experiences. You f***ed up, bitty. Skate on out of here. Go. Go skating. I definitely want to get back into the studio, and I need to record a new song. You know every guy I've dated, I've written a song about him, and I've moved on. Right. That's like closure for you. It's the closure <laughs> chapter. Like, I'm, I'm about to close that chapter. Writing for me is a healing process. Yeah, there you go. Skateboard for me is going to be the ending of a chapter in my life. Once I write skateboard, my relationship with Richie is completely done. I'm going to find me a man with a big Cadillac. That's real. That's real. So skate down that hill. Boom. And like that. All right, you ready? Got it. 
I'm going out with a guy named Kareem that my friend Christina set me up with. I'm super nervous, because I'm queen of the horrible first dates. Last two guys I went out with, they were not for me. <laughs> you know, I was looking at your profile, and I wrote a whole poem about you. So I'm scared that it's not going to go well. Kareem? Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hi. I like hugs. Dream smells really good. He obviously uses cologne, but not like the cheap kind from like a drugstore. He smells like he spent money on his smell. Does that make sense? <laughs> I like your hat. Thank you. You have an accent. Yes. What are... I'm from Venezuela. Though. Oh, cool. You're like, hello. My name is Karim. <laughs> <laughs> I like your hair. Huh? I like your hair. <laughs> Thank you. We're at a bar and it's kind of loud, and at some points I'm just laughing and giggling because I don't know what he's saying. But it sounds really sexy. Um, do you, those glasses are real or do you? These? They're not. Can you take it out? No. Why not? Why? Because I want to see your eyes. Oh boy. Yes. Oh, you see that? <laughs> <laughs> he's flirting with me, and I definitely feel more confident after the seminar. And I'm really hoping Kareem breaks my streak of being the queen of first dates. You like to dance? I do. I dance. I dance salsa. You did? Oh my god! Really? That's awesome. We should go and try to do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Queen of the first dates? Booyah! Just got a second. You finished everything. You think you ready to go? Yeah. I'm a little thrown off. This date is going really well. I haven't had that in a really long time. I had such a good time. Me too. Mwah, it's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We'll go salsa. I'll wear, he I'll wear heels and everything. I'll wear the red lipstick and all that. Oh, that would be hard. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs> I have a date with Christopher tonight, my ex. Hi. How are you? Long time no see, stranger. Yeah, how you doing? My weight was definitely an attribute as to why I didn't work out with Christopher in the past. I'm a little anxious to spend time with Christopher because I want to see if things are going to be different this go around. You look all grown up. Thanks. You look good, too. Thank you. I'm going to take the advice that I got at the seminar and really try to, to be less dominant. But clearly, I'm going to have to be strong because our past has been a little rocky. So I'm hoping that tonight with this date, we can finally put all of that behind us. Oh, we're going to sit on the floor. You sit right here. Oh, I see. OK, you already have my seat picked up. Thank you. You're welcome. You tried to rub against my butt. I felt you. <laughs> OK, so you already know body shapers are tight. And now I have to get my big ass on the floor and sit down. I'm not happy about this. Oh, 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 I'm on a date with my ex, Chris, and now I have to get my big ass on the floor and sit down. I'm not happy about this. Oh, 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 my gosh. Whatever. I mean, I took it in stride considering my spanks were awfully tight. So it made you want to do this whole dinner date? See, I just wanted to see how you was doing and was see doing. where we can go. For the how many time are we going to try this? <clears throat> Chris and I dated on and off for four years. The back and forth of the I want you, I don't want you, I want you, but I secretly want something else. I just got tired because we, we grow up. Mm. It's good? Mm -hmm. This is a nice place. Last time, it was like I didn't know what I wanted. It was just a year ago. Mm. I wouldn't say, no, mm -hmm. not that short of time. Mm -hmm. Now, if we ever do get back together, it's going to be 100% commitment, something that's going to be long-term, possibly marriage type stuff. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. you, you told me that. 
But I, I never, like, really came out and was like, I'm ready for this. OK, well, there's a lot of trust rebuilding that yeah, we I know this. have to go on. I know. Because I don't believe you. I know. I know you don't. I can see it in your eyes. I'm being honest. Because you're a trophy, that's why. OK. So I hope that we can take this farther than this date that we're on. You know what I need? What? I'm going to need help off the floor, so you're going to have to stand up first. <laughs> He's a big enough guy. I've lost my weight. I'm light as a feather now. So yes, help me get my ass off this floor. Ugh. Do not embarrass me in public. Help me up. Both hands and pull. Oof. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chris has a lot to prove. I need a grand gesture. I literally need the world on a silver platter. Hello? Hello? Hi! What up, Mama Sita? I haven't talked to you in forever. It feels so long, you I know, I miss you already. Jen is just amazing. She's funny, she's loving, she's genuine. She is the type of girl that I love to be around. I want you to come visit me. You should come visit me. I want to come visit. Like, I, I've even started looking at, like, flights and stuff, like, prices. Like, we connected on a level that not everyone connects, and I'm happy for it. Yeah, me too, girl. It's so great to hear from Mar. I definitely want to go back east and whoop. I feel like I was going to fart there for a second. <laughs> um, I didn't. Um. <laughs> I definitely want to go visit Mar back east, have some fun, and maybe meet some boys. That seminar was difficult at times, but I feel like I did get something out of it. Like, I got an amazing friend. I feel the same. And I feel like that mirror thing actually clicked something in me. I'm my own worst enemy, and I need to get the bully that's in myself out of me. I realized, you know, I don't need to settle, and I need to stop being so harsh on myself, and I need to give myself a break and be like, you know what, Jen? You're awesome. Like, you don't need to ride yourself so hard. After this seminar, I am learning to have self-respect for myself and not settling or thinking I have to impress someone. And I send you hugs, even though they're, like, just verbal hugs. Aw. <laughs> I'm going to send you some emojis right now. <laughs> Love ya. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. I asked Lonnie if she'd like to go out with me and, you know, scope out the men's situation. Uh, thank you for meeting me. My big takeaway from the seminar was not to be a big party or anymore, but it's so hard when I go out and, you know, we're like, oh, mama's going out. We're going to party, you know? Mm. Ready? Yes. I'm wasted. <laughs> Bam. Yes. Bam. Bam. Happening. Normally, my nights out with Lonnie start as a happy hour that then gets crazy. <laughs> but after the seminar, I'm trying to be good. Yes. I'm wasted. <laughs> who those guys were, but let's have a good time. Let's flirt, let's be silly, let's play some pool. You ready for the heat? I'm ready. Yeah! Feel that power? She's got the Feel power. That? Let it really go in real soft. Watch this. Yeah! See how it broke them up? Hiya! Take that, boys. You know what? I just like to get stuff in there. Not it's the over. Ball, it's over. You sunk the eight ball. Oh, it was the eight ball. Yeah. I put a lot of that sexual innuendo and, and humor, and I put all that out there because I feel like that's what makes people like me. That's what makes people think Christy's great. Well, thank you for playing with us. No, are we done? Is that it? Yeah, uh, we're kind of celebrating a birthday, so we're going to. Happy birthday. That guy? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, it's not my birthday. It's his birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you.
Thank you. Being all those things that I thought were like, oh, Christy's the greatest and she's so fun and woo. Those were actually the things that were turnoffs. Like, I've got to stop doing that. So I guess David was right on. Some nights just aren't nights. Some nights just aren't nights. That's true. Not a night. I need some of these ghetto booty panties. Really and ghetto they, booty? Yeah, and I bet you they cut like on a butt because that's where my booty is the biggest is at the bottom. Like, where is that meat at? Tonight is date number two with Christopher, and I am hoping that he's changed because I have a little surprise up my sleeve. I'm sure they have your size, boo. I need a small. He was talking like some real big money stuff at the Japanese restaurant. So I'm going to see if he can cash the check his mouth just wrote. Mm. You know, I am getting to that point. I might have me an overnight one night. <laughs> OK. We having sleepovers. I need you to try on this. I'm going to look like um, Rihanna. R yes, Rihanna. In dating now, I find myself wanting to wear lingerie. We can keep the lights on, because I know what my body looks like. Shay, come in. Quite frankly, it looks damn good. Here yeah, she's Oh, I want to yes, take this time. Oh. So ha, this is what it is. Do you see all of it? So are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> That's good. I'm loving this. <laughs> You're giving me everything. Yeah. Every bad girl needs a corset. Oh, we. All right. <laughs> there, there we go. go. OK, let's see this. Woo, woo. Yes. 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 Christopher is going to love taking this little number off. Ow, ow, ow. And exit. Kareem wants to take me to a salsa lesson. I don't get many second dates, so I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> also, I want him to twirl me and my wig comes off. That would be hella embarrassing. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh my god. Hi, Hi. guys. You guys are serious. You like. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big girl, and I'm like one of the clumsiest people on the planet, so dancing could be an issue. One, two, three. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's right. Maybe we should just do some dip. <laughs> he does not care about steps. He just wants to spin. Just... We, we could do that. Kareem is not listening to the instructor, and I know this is not going to end well. That's better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and... Yep. Ah! No, no, you did it. You did it. You did it on purpose. I didn't do that on purpose. Way to make me feel like a tiny princess, Kareem. No, no. Not no. good. Let me get it myself. No, let me get it myself. I like to crawl. And Kareem is just like dragging me across the floor. I'm trying to keep myself decent. I'm mortified and I just want to hide. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine. My shoe was like, yeah. Yeah, I used to live on the floor. <laughs> that happens. It's okay. It was bound to. I got enough cushion. Well, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. That was fun. <laughs> Even though Kareem dropped me on the floor, I still had a pretty good time. Maybe the queen of the first dates needs to hang up her tiara. You can take it to the to the club. Yeah. <laughs> to the club. There you go. <laughs> Ready for the date. Where are you going? To the club. Let's go. <laughs> Are you Ryan? Oh, I am. Hey. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good to see you. I met this guy, Ryan, online, and he seems kind of cute. Do you want some peanuts? No, thanks. I don't like <laughs> my teeth. <laughs> he also seems a little bit shorter and smaller than I expected. I feel like I might be too big for him. What made you move out here? At first, I was going to be a teacher, but then I decided that I hate kids. He's flashing his red flags a little too soon. What about you? I love kids. Uh, did you want a drink? I got a screwdriver coming. Sure. OK, I'll go get you one. <laughs> thanks. I was also going to step out for a smoke. Is that okay, cool? That's fine. All right, thanks. Okay. I can't believe he would get up almost immediately and go out and smoke. So I'm wondering if he's kind of like embarrassed by me. I already got two screwdrivers. Thank you. There you go, and I'll just leave that there. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
shock when he came back. Well, cheers. <laughs> I, I might have had too many of these, you know. You already was, like, drinking? <laughs> just a little bit, just, like, uh, three. Nothing, like, big time, you know. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> you want another one? I'm good. I'm just going to get one more. OK. was staring and thinking, who's this hot mess? I'm not drunk. It's a bigger girl. I'm super self-conscious. So this is just extremely embarrassing, and I want this date to be over. I'll just take one more whenever you get the chance. You want another one? I'm good. I'm just going to get one more. OK. I'm not drunk. I'm super self-conscious. So this is just extremely embarrassing, and I want this date to be over. Are you having fun? No. No. I feel like I want to murder myself. I think when they have a new drink is when you can say goodbye, right? I'm over this. I need to get out of here. They cleaned that right up, huh? Yeah. I think I might head out, actually. You just got here. I don't feel the connection here, and I don't want to waste either of our times. Is it because I dropped that? I just feel like you're really drunk. You smoke, which I'm is, not, is I'm a not deal really breaker drunk. for me. That's a deal breaker. So, no hard feelings, but have a wonderful day. All right. After the seminar, this is a new gen. I don't deal with anymore, and I don't deserve to be around crappy guys. Melissa was married to my brother, Terry, but they have recently, unfortunately, gotten a divorce. I'm going to do the number two. She's so beautiful. She just always looks perfect. Thank you. Whenever I feel sexy and confident, and then she walks in the door, it's like, Now I'm going to sit next to you. I think anything with cheese or cream on it is going to be a work okay out. by me. I kind of need to run to the bathroom, too, so go. What's happening? Is this a first date? Do you have any single friends? <laughs> Seriously. Single. Oh, you're single? Who's this? Besties. Oh, besties. Yeah, I, I'm i looking for single, nice guys. You're single I'm and you're nice? nice I'm mean, a single I can cover. I'm not nice. <laughs> <laughs> but he's hilarious. A uh, couple of questions. Do you date online? Do you like do any of the dating sites? Right, I mean, like how do you like when you date as a man? Like how do you find dates? I'm really I'm kind of shy, so I'll wait for them to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love those really bad jokes. Um, you gads. Yeah. Well, I'm Christy. I'm Jefferson. Jefferson. Nice. Christy. And Melissa comes back from the restroom. I was like, oh, damn it. Now I'm afraid of being passed over for the prettier, skinnier girl. Look, I get it. I get it. It's fine. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my number, and I feel like you should call me. And it's Christine? Christy. Christine. Yeah, well, they got yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yay, yay. Well, it was nice to meet y'all. Nice yeah. You. See, look, picking them up at the taco <laughs> joint. <laughs> y'all have fun. Yeah. I'm so glad I got to eat <laughs> the velvet taco. The velvet. Yes. Well, you know that that's an innuendo, right? An innuendo of what? I love you. I love you, too. We'll talk about it later. Well, I love to meet Melissa and go out, but meeting Jefferson is definitely the cherry on top. And I didn't need to be drunk to meet him. Ding, 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 ding. I feel like I have cilantro all in my teeth. I feel like you just weirdly set up a date in there. I feel like I did, and that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. <laughs> I have a date with Christopher tonight, and I'm so excited considering the fact we just had a talk about relationships. Can I have a glass of water, please, yeah. with no ice? No ice? Yes, please. I'm excited to see what he has to say because I have a surprise for him. Yeah. Every bad girl makes a course difference. Ooh, wait. <laughs> At this point, Christopher is late. 
I still have no call, no text, no smoke signal as to why. Now it's going on 25 minutes and he still is not here. I feel like really lump lump sitting by myself. This is so unacceptable. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You gotta be f***ing kidding me. I am humiliated. You didn't even have the courtesy to pick up the phone and tell me. I just drove in traffic to get here. This is baloney. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing, girl. Just not knowing I'm on the What you doing, honey? I, I have, like, I, of all people, have just been stood the f*** up. I am. Christopher. I should have known better. I'll come over and have to text you. Chris can go to hell, along with the text message he sent me saying that he's not going to make it. I'm pretty much, you know, back on the dating scene, and that's good. OK. Any luck so far? What's... Give me one second. Yeah, sure. The door's not open? Oh, we have hey. issues with the door. Hi. How are you? Long time no see. How are you? Wow. I haven't seen Adam in years. Like, I remember him back in high school, and he was such a dweeb. I was just stopping by, and I saw you over here. I noticed the green hair. You can't miss that. I know. It's awesome, man. How you been? I'm good. I'm good. How you been? Just working here. I'm I'm doing this. I'm still doing, recording music, a uh -huh. bunch of stuff. Do you remember Jen? Yeah, yeah, Jen Jen's from high school. My, she, she's actually my boss. Oh, oh hey, Adam. Oh, my God, it's Raspberry. <laughs> you know, you came in, and I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> I was like, no, that can't be him. Yeah, and I'm over evil. here making jokes. <laughs> Come on over here. And so what, like, how, what brought you by? Like, I heard about this new sushi spot that just opened up. Maybe you're interested in maybe we can get together? Do you have my number? No, hit me up, <laughs> definitely. Let me see. He is like a wolf, and I'm his prey right now. Like, he is all up on me. I'll see you later. Yeah. Um, awesome. Take Talk care. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Adam is a total match made in heaven for a big girl. This guy is hot. And he's so much better than Richie. He's hot. In high school, he wasn't that cute. He's definitely a nerd gone hot. You better double strap that Faha, girl. girl. I think I'm a double spank it for him. I'm a double <laughs> Faha it for him. After the seminar, I realized that I need a new guy. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Adam comes in. I'm thinking this is a sign. I really hope that he calls me tomorrow. Did that just happen? That happened. The point of this date was really just to kind of reconnect. And I actually hoped that this was going to be a big change for Christopher and I. And you know what the sad part about it is I slick thought like losing weight was going to make it easier. Right, because it's the stereotype of how you're supposed to look. Because even Halle Berry got problems. And she, that bitch look bad. Like, I'm pissed. I am so bad. And the only person I can be mad at is me. Why do you keep blaming yourself? You know. Like, you have a up track record with me, seriously. Yeah. I can't even be mad at Christopher because if I had any level of common sense, I would have just said no and let sleeping dogs lie. I don't even think it's meant to be at this point. I might as well just be a hoe. <laughs> don't say that. And then I don't want to get to the point like what I saw in LA, these lonely females doing all kinds of because now they're desperate because they can't find nobody. I don't want to be that. Right. Like, I'm real shame right now. Like, tail between my legs, so embarrassed. After being stood up and coming back from LA, I'm gonna leave my skeletons in the closet because honestly, repeating the past is not getting me any closer to my future goals. I'm done. Thank you. You're welcome, friend. Oh, friend, I'm so mad. Story of my life, right? What do you do for a living? I am a hip hop dancer. I will actually twerk for you. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> this might be the best first date ever. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my RT. Um, I just, I just need a minute. Would you like to I mean, come to my house? Sure. I'm really enjoying Jefferson's company, and I have no intentions of ending the date right now. <laughs> What's happening here? Maybe it is that I'm moving too fast, but I don't care. 